What's going on, Scum fans? We are ready to get started on another journey. Today, we're going to get started right away. I've already built my character. I've got advanced rifles, advanced running, advanced stealth, and advanced awareness. This is a PvP style build. So we are gonna go ahead with that. Where I am on the map is Z1. We've got the rail yard here. So first things first, when you come in, get yourself a weapon, get two rocks, Go ahead and scroll around here to find another one. Double click, make a stone knife, and I'm gonna make a spear, that's it guys. Going straight in. I'm basically gonna try to time it and see how much loot we can get in 30 minutes time. So that is the goal for this episode. And to give you guys tips and tricks along the way, of course. Go to your first bush. Make yourself a wood spear out of it, after have a long stick here. Check out your surroundings. This is a PvP server, uh, the one of the higher pop uh, official servers. And so you can manually craft things quickly by clicking on them, highlighting them. And if you have the corresponding item, you can right click uh, like I just did there to make this a little bit faster instead of going to the crafting menu to find said item and then hit craft. So I'm actually gonna do two spears, funny enough. So I'll do it this way as well. Go to the crafting menu, hit craft. So I can actually throw one and have one as a up close and personal. Uh, my character died like immediately upon spawning in. That's why I have negative $250. So that's kind of annoying. Um, I have no comp, there's no HUD uh, as far as compass marker when in focus mode hitting right mouse button. So I'm kind of feeling around which way I need to go. Uh, and I need to, you can do that by kind of looking at the dot and seeing like where it's going. So I'm going a little bit north go this way. And I took advanced running because it really helps a lot with the speed of getting from place to place. And you'll also see that it levels up some of your other skills like strength and dexterity um, a little bit faster in theory because you are running at a faster clip. Uh, so covering more ground potentially can help boost those stats. I say potentially and hypothetically and all that fun stuff because hey, you know, this game changes constantly. So that's the way it is. Now, we're getting close here. This is a pretty heavy hot zone. So we're gonna see what happens when we get into town here for the first time. Um, I do have a microphone, obviously, so if you're undergunned and undergeared, you may wanna consider, you know, using your mic. Oh, there's a mech over there, okay. Might use your mic, you know, uh, to like communicate with players, see if they'll let you live. Sometimes it's as easy as opening your mouth and talking to people. See that you're not a threat, you know? And this is definitely, this is actually, this is not a town. This is a military base, I believe. That is where we're at. All right, military stuff potential. Be cautious. I go around this way, go through the window. When I'm in first person, it makes it a little easier to see things and there's a mech. For up close and personal action, though, Third person does help with peripheral, of course. We gotta be quick about this, not be seen in the windows. Box of nails. I'm not even bothering making a backpack yet because may not need to, might find one. Could be puppets in here anywhere. All right, always keep your head on the swiv. On the swivel. Sometimes puppets like to hang out in this doorway. Bathroom, check your vicinity from time to time. 
Not looking like anything here. Could be looted. Very possible. Not looking. Okay, here we go. This is a good find right here. Crowbar. And this is a good find too. But I'm gonna go ahead to help your awareness, even though I have awareness skill already up. You could actually grab that item and pull it out. Uh, I don't know why it disappeared like that. There it is. Pull it out. It helps your XP go up um, on your awareness a little bit. As more items are in front of you, the XP bar will go up, allowing you a higher awareness level up. All right. I think this is okay. Electrician's toolkit. The thread is a win for me because we can use that once we find a puppet to uh, make a thread and needle sewing kit. That is good news for us. Let's get out of here. And we have something to open lockers, which is good. Let's see. Okay. Keep aware. Run in. There's a puppet here. Go ahead and kill him. We got three. Oops. Missed again. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, eight hits with the puppet and the wood spear. So we still can use that. Um, I'll take this jacket. I'll take these gloves because now there is a mechanic for, okay, he's, there's a bot right there. If he turns around, you'll see me. Let's try to chop him up as fast as we can. To get his bone needle. We're gonna make a sewing kit very quickly. Could also make some kind of a quiver since I have a puppet skin here. Uh, once we make that. Always be checking your surroundings. As usual. Bone needle. So you click on your, you have your sharp item, right? Click on that, you can right click and make a bone needle. Now we got this and this. Combine those, and you'll have a sewing kit. Very, very good first game loot quickly get some inventory space on you. Oh, here comes a here comes a mech. All right, let's see the crafting recipe really fast. Animal skin quiver, so puppet skin, knife, sewing kit. Bada boom, bada bing, look at that shit. Boom, whip that sucker, and look what we got now, boys and girls. A nice inventory. And now, I'm gonna take my spear back. Now, these are not, if these are military boots, I would take them, but I'm not going to, because they're not, those are hiking boots. The military boots will give you an inventory slot, which is nice. So that was a nice win up. Oh, there's another puppet. Okay. Hello. Nice to meet you. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Eight. Ten. Oh, you're a big one. Eleven. Okay. At twelve. Oh, thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, fourteen. A 14, oh my god, a 15, 15. 
The number is 15. And that is my Italian grandmother Susie that you just heard. And there you go. That was a lot of shots, I'll tell you what. Now, can we upgrade... Hold on. Can we upgrade this spear really quick? Alright. Scrap metal. Thread. Or rope. Stick. Alright. That's stone. Yeah. Technically could. What I might do now is... I'm gonna take this puppet skin too. Oh, look at that. Screwdriver, baby. Very nice. Another one. See, these are very useful boxes, guys. Very useful. Because if we have a locker nearby, another one. Holy moly, look at these screwdrivers. Another. Holy frick. Oh, look at that shit. Trainer axe. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, now we don't need this anymore. Just freed ourselves up again. Don't need this. We've got this sick ass axe right here. Very nice. Okay, and then I can actually chop this puppet up. Uh, I'm going to actually do that and put these in here. And hmm. I might make a backpack now. I might. I might do it. Three rag. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it really quick because we got all this, all these rags, guys. Well, actually, you know what? This jacket's pretty dope. Let me, let me wear this. Oh, that doesn't give me shit. Okay. Forget that. Equip. We could fix this up. I'm gonna do that. Even though it's hi highlighted and ugly. Got to get ourselves some inventory as quick as possible. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this. Actually, I'm going to save my nice new axe and cut with my knife. All right. And then we can make a satchel all in here without having to go out there to cut down a tree, which is super nice. And then we're going to cut this in the rag strips. I'm going to make some rag rope. Now, if we found some scissors, that'd be super nice. Then you could cut up your cloth way more precisely. Five strips will give you a full rag rope. And they got a short pants. You could obviously cut your underwear, your warmer here and all that, but click all those, right click. No, 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 that's not it. Hit escape. We don't want that. If you start scrapping something and screw up, hit escape. You'll stop it. Hit craft, improvise rope. That's what we want. And now our guy is overheating. Even though he's not. Okay. Okay, rope. So now I'm going to cut these. No, no, fuck. No, damn it. I just used my fucking sewing kit. Shit. You got to be careful. I just started repairing that. Now I used up a, be a bit of my kit. Damn it! Well, that's annoying. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to wear the end. I don't want to do that. No. Let's cut these up. One, two, three, four, that. Courier backpack, here we go. Pretty quick, guys, pretty quick. Now, we are crafting like a slug, but eventually that will increase on speed. Pick that sucker up, you wear it. Let's get out of this shit. And we've got all these nice screwdrivers. Where's Mr. P Where's Mr. Puppet? I'm gonna get your skin. Because then, well, let me think about this. No, I don't have any. Never mind. 
If I had a basic survival skill, we could actually make this improvised backpack out of skin. We don't have that. Not gonna happen. So leave it go, leave it be. All right. Been all through here. There's Oh Mecky. I'm gonna go around here. You hear that? There's a fucking goat. Let's go this way. All right, what kind of goodies can we find in here? A lot of crates. Uh-oh. Fuck. Is he coming in here? We'll be fine. Oh shit. Come on in here. Uh oh, you sneaky fucker. Sneaky bastard. All right, six watts for that. That worked pretty good. Little moolah. Some jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and wear those. Take these. Fix these up. Got a woodcutter shirt. Could fix that. I'll take these. Wear that. Fix that up. Just because I. Don't want to wear a jumpsuit anymore. All right. Uh, I'll take these better gloves here. How are we on heat? We're still all right. All right. Looking better now. Lots of cardboard boxes. Hopefully we can find some better shit than just that. Better than just some screwdrivers would be nice. And being that we have our stealth skill higher, we can hear, or they can hear us a lot less because um, we are quieter. Another freaking puppet. Come on, bitch. So this gives you like, whoops, five hits and they're dead. Nice. Very nice. That's so much better than the ridiculous amount of hits it took for the wood spear, am I right? All right, what else can there be here, man? Gotta give me something, man. I'm stuck. Okay. 
Give me some guns, man. I need some guns. Not gonna lie, guys, not very interesting. Might be better in another spot. Ah, bullets. And we can cover our bald ass head over there. Look like Agent 47 up in here. You Hitman fans out there. Or Bart, that'd be nice. Oh, uh oh, shit. Shit balls, man. Shit. There's a locker. He ain't coming in here. Can't even fit. Oh shit. Sort of does. Sort of fits. All right, we gotta get to another building. I'm gonna go for it. Uh oh. Oh, what the fuck? I swear to God, dude, where is that beeper? I'm getting infected. That infected fucker. Got a little beat up. There's a bomber zombie in here, man. Oh, shit. Now they're all awake. Holy shit. I'm glad I didn't have to tango with him. Bitch. Goodbye. Glad I did not have to tangle with that one. That would have been a real pain in the ass. Being how we have no ranged weapon at the moment. So we are bleeding. Uh, this one is C2, so that's not good. But we do have some military boots. It's a good find. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this bleeding really quick um, with my pants. I'm gonna cut these into rags really fast. I don't like letting a C2 bleed go, but I will do a C1 bleed. Well, let's go ahead and click on that. Click on our rag. Treat. Let's click on another. You see this bar lighting up? That's basically saying how much this rag will actually heal you. We have no medical skill. It's gonna take a lot of rags to fix this up. If we had advanced medical, we'd have it at done in one in like one shot, basically. So Alright, gotta cut these up again. Yeah. I'm trying to show you guys these hotspot locations to see like what's worth it or not. Um, what's worth it to you guys for time. And what's got the best loot. But really, best loot is in a bunker. Best loot is in a bunker. Naval base is okay, but ton of mechs to deal with. This is mechs here. So you have to ask yourself what's the risk versus reward ratio to see what's worth it you know um can now i wonder if they fix this no they used to let you use bandage strips it's unfortunate they don't let you do that anymore 
All right, what else can I cut? I'll cut the old shlongy warmer here. Not the shlongy, just the shlongy warmer. All right, click that. Let's get this thing patched up fully here. Click on your wound, click your item to heal with, and hit treat. All right, now we're healing, okay. Oh, we got tactical gloves. I'm gonna get those instead of these the shiny ones. Now I want to fix these boots because here's why I wanted military boots, even though they're damaged. We're gonna repair them. And this is gonna let you have an extra inventory slot, guys. This is very, very key to have that, as much inventory space as possible. You can fit one extra item in there. It's handy. Um, and I need to fix my jacket. It got cut up pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So there we go with that. Did I check these? Let's get our, I don't like that they did this to me. I'm gonna fix this. Out of order. It's annoying. All right. Never be too careful. These mechs have a wide range. Um, he's gonna turn around. Another freaking guy? Or oh, that's the one I killed. Yeah. I'm like, what? Hey, baby, another thread. There we go. Let's go. And some work pants. Those will give us more space, I think, than the jeans. No, they're equal. And this tracksuit top is nice. I can fix that up. We'll get you hotter though. So let's go ahead and chop this sucker up, make ourselves a second sewing kit. All right. And now we have scissors guys. So we can make all this cloth cutting so much more efficient. All right, now where the hell are the bones? Well, we got a jelly leg freak here or what? Where are your bones? Where are your bones? There they are. They really brought them all the way over here, dude. Really? 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 Craft the needle. Love them sewing kits and thread, guys. So useful. So useful. I know you guys are like, this guy's freaking out about some thread, but you believe I will be freaking out about some thread. By the way, if you want to see more videos and guides, uh, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can see more from me here. I've got a playlist of beginner guides for you guys to check out. Make sure you check those out in your spare time. Appreciate that a lot and hope that it will help uh, many of you out there new to scum. Okay. And that is why you gotta be careful. I teach you the things to do. And things not to do. Things to do and not to do. Well, you can't get in here. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Can't get in here. Can't get me. Now, I may run across in there. I'm doing it. Jump. I wonder if I've been in here. There's other crates out here that might be more useful and interesting. But there is an upper level. 
We'll just go check it out. Oh, fuck. Oh, God! No! Run up! Run up top! Run down below! Oh, my God. I'm waking up the whole fucking army of zombies, guys. Oh, my God! I'm hit! I'm hit! I'm hit! I'm hit! Pull out my shit, man. Pull out my shit. Two hits and you did. Get out of here. Get inside. Get inside. Oh, wait. I'll stay. Oh, shit. Get out. Oh, my God, guys. Will I survive this? Will I survive any of this? Will I survive? Will I survive? Dude, use the scissor. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's no good, man. No good. No good. That sucks. And that was a run, guys. That was a run. Well, you have to ask yourself, are these areas worth the loot? Are they worth your time? Are they worth dying over? And in my personal humble opinion, no. So where are we at now? Let's see. D0. Well, I'm pretty fucking pissed off. And with that being said, guys, this has been uh, our guide today. and. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit like and subscribe button. Turn on notifications and we'll see you later. And be alpha. <laughs>